Prominent academic and author Dr. Michel Chosodovsky warned that the so-called war on terrorism is a front to propagate America's global hegemony and create a new world order. He was speaking at the International Conference on the New World Order, Recipe for War or Peace. Dr. Chosodovsky said terrorism is made in the U.S and that terrorists are not the product of the Muslim world. According to him, the U.S. global war on terrorism was used to enact anti-terrorism laws that demonized Muslims in the Western world and created Islamophobia. Elaborating on his argument, Dr. Chosodovsky said that NATO was responsible for recruiting members of the Islamic State, while Israel is funding global jihad elements inside Syria. Al-Qaeda and the Al-Qaeda affiliated organizations, including the Islamic State, are not independent organizations. They are sponsored, and they are sponsored by the United States and its allies. It is documented that prior to 2011, there was a process of recruitment of Mujahideen to fight in Syria and this was coordinated by NATO and the Turkish High Command. This report is confirmed by Israeli news sources and unequivocally we are dealing with the state sponsorship of terrorism, the recruitment of mercenaries, uh, the training and the financing of terrorism. Uh, as much as possible, the United States has delegated its authority to other partners, uh, despite the fact that ultimately this is an initiative of U.S. intelligence coordinated with the, the U.S. State Department and the Pentagon. Dr. Chosdowski, who is also the founder of the Center for Research and Globalization, further emphasized that the global war on terrorism is a fabrication, a big lie and a crime against humanity. Echoing Dr. Chosdowski's arguments, Malaysia's prominent political scientist, Islamic reformist and activist Dr. Chandra Muzaffa said that the U.S. has always manipulated religion to further its global hegemony on sovereign states. For example, he said, the Arab Spring was brought about by Colonel Muammar Mohammad Gaddafi's resistance to U.S. dominance. Earlier, Dr. Chosodovsky launched his new book titled The Globalization of War. Well, this book is, is, is ultimately a reflection on uh, how a global military agenda affects a, whole, a series of countries and it also looks into the issue of nuclear war. Uh, it, it is coupled with a broad historical overview. Uh, start with a historical overview, then we get into nuclear war, uh, nuclear energy, the day uh, Fukushima, and then there's a series of, of chapters uh, on, on countries, including uh, Yugoslavia, Haiti, uh, Iraq, Iran, and also more recently on Ukraine, to give a, a perspective on how this global military agenda um, is applied uh, for different countries in different parts of the world and um, with the ultimate purpose of destabilizing and transforming uh, sovereign countries into territories which are then open space for uh, Western foreign investment. The one-day conference was organized by the Perdana Global Peace Foundation, founded by Malaysia's former Prime Minister, Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. 